It's so sad that Ted Williams, one of the greatest baseball players ever, possibly the best hitter of all time, a guy that served in World War II and then came back to be an even better baseball player, is going to be remembered for the stuff that's happened to him after he died. He was frozen, right? His body was frozen, and then he was decapitated. Why would he want to be frozen? He didn't want to be frozen. He wanted to be cremated and spread all over Florida in the ocean. But his kids, his two youngest kids, got really deep into cryogenics. They wanted to freeze his body in hopes that he could be revived one day. And his oldest daughter knew this, that he wanted to be cremated. So he sued the two kids that froze Ted Williams' body. But the kids showed a napkin that Ted Williams signed saying that he wanted to be frozen, which is complete BS, but you couldn't argue against it, so they had to drop the case. The key question here is, though, would he still be a 400-plus hitter? Dooby-dooby-doo, the Wentworth Bros.